I'm a technical support engineer for Rennie Solar UK. Um, my job is to look at the designs of systems, um, our product range, supporting from a technical point of view, of course, uh, and just explaining more or less what we have in our in our stock range, in our product portfolio, um, and putting it out there to to our clients, uh, especially with the launch of new products as well. Uh, yes, well this, this unit down here is uh, our off-grid 2 kilowatt system. Uh, it has 2.5 kilowatt hours of storage uh, and a maximum output power of 2 kilowatt. And it's basically designed um, with both new builds and retrofit installations in mind. Um, the idea being you can feed it directly off DC from a solar array or you can put in uh, an AC feed directly from a household plug socket. Um, so that if you have an existing installation, you don't need to change that PV installation because it's already registered under the feed-in tariff. Um, uh, so the clients already generate power in AC after their existing inverter. This will then store that energy uh, during the day. Uh, and there's also three working modes uh, which the user can select onto how to use uh, the power. So at the moment, do you think it's a question of um, explaining to people the benefits of energy storage? Yeah, well, I think uh, it's clear that people are becoming a bit more savvy to energy consumption, household energy usage. Um, with an with a increase in, in grid energy prices year on year, I think consumers are becoming more aware of, of um, the responsibility on them to take charge of, of their energy consumption situation. Um, and of course, power outages. Uh, if you've got a system like this, you've got clean, silent power, uh, an instantaneous uh, switchover. So if there is any essential uh, uh, loads connected to this, like servers or some people who are home carers who need uh, electricity on demand, um, this is perfect because it, it switches over so fast that a monitor servers won't even notice the, the change or a, a fault in the, in the grid supply. The launch is basically just to get a feel from our, our client base to see how it will integrate with what they have out there. We believe um, as the product stands at the moment it's really well integrated. Um, it's wheeled, it's, uh, you know, it, it's easy to install, it's pre-packaged, it's, it's a plug and play system really. So it makes it easy on the installer. Um, it's cost effective, it's lithium ion technology um, and, it's, and it's durable. So uh, I think our, our, our launch strategy is to, is to compete with what traditionally would have been an installation with many auxiliary components brought together with cabling, uh, all boxed into one package, wheeled into the client's house, um, easy to install at a good, at a good price. Take us through the process of sure. getting one from basically from the battery into the house. Well, it's as simple as um, putting it into your house and plug it, plugging it into a plug socket, or if you've got a DC array on the roof, uh, literally just running um, anything between 10 to 60 amps DC supply into the back. It comes with all your auxiliary uh, plugs required, so it's got a DC plug and an AC uh, uh, cord feeding it. Um, so it's as simple as buying a washing machine putting it in your house and plugging it in and making it work. Understanding places like Germany, they have like a percentage subsidy for people to put systems in their mm. house and stuff. Mm. Um, I mean, what kind, of, what kind of progress might we expect in terms of what? getting numbers of systems into people's houses? Energy storage is a good idea. Um, because it's not only kind to the consumer's pocket uh, over the long run, it's also kind to the grid. <clears throat> if we um, can stabilize our, our energy grid, um, es essentially what's happening at the moment is you have grid issues where all the PV arrays on a bright sunny morning are coming up yeah. and it's not on par with what the energy demand is at that stage. So after the morning peak uh, on grid, all these PV arrays are generating electricity which essentially is not being used. If that power can be diverted to energy storage units, um, which have been depleted the night before uh, during the use cycle, um, that's a good way of making use of clean free energy that these solar PV arrays are generating. Um, I think the other side of it is, of course, like I mentioned earlier, is the user's ability to take charge of their household energy system and, and to load manage and to be more aware and. And I think the design of this system makes it simple. Because of the touchscreen user interface, 
Um, it gives the user an instantaneous readout of what was their energy consumption, what was their charge for the day. Um, you know, with it, it's also got the three plug sockets at the back so you can run your appliances directly off it. It has a battery management system that has preset uh, minimum and maximum voltages. Uh, on this particular battery, it's, uh, it's a 48 volt system. Um, so it monitors each cell voltage and makes sure that the battery is never discharged below a certain point, which is quite important with lithium ion. And then again on the charging cycle, it balances the charge uh, on, the, on the maximum voltage, which then will, will switch off charge once, once it's full. Um, with the two charging options you've got, you've got the AC, like I mentioned, or the DC. The DC uh, charging coming off the solar PV array is more like a trickle charge. So it, it, it has a built-in charge controller, which puts that power into the battery, but there's no real user interface. It's all automated inside the machine. So what you've got in there is a, a lithium ion battery system, an inverter charger, and a power transformer to get that power back into AC to feed the uh, client's uh, appliances. It's all about you know, the, the, the user in the end of the day. We want this to be uh, a system that, that really makes the user feel in control. Um, and it must be, you know, there must be a bit of fun, I suppose. It's a bit of a geeky fun, but it's, you know, it's, it, it gives them the opportunity to be more in charge.